dear friends all let us talk about the semen that semen is also known as male reproductive fluid it is also known as male reproductive fluid the semen semen is thick and whitish fluid it is thick and whitish fluid ejaculated from male reproductive system during sexual intercourse and we have already studied that the semen is nothing but it is the mixture of different components it is the mixture of secretion of seminal vesicle that is seminal fluid also the prostatic secretion that is the secretion of prostate gland also little bit the secretion of cowper glands and sperms so these different components or the mixture of these different components togetherly nothing but the semen we have already studied that 60% part of the semen is contributed by seminal fluid am i right about 30% part of semen is contributed by prostatic fluid or we can say prostatic secretion that is the secretion of prostate gland and the 10% part 10% part is contributed by the sperm or spermatozoa that is male gametes i would like to tell you that during single ejaculation during single ejaculation about 3 to 5 ml 3 to 5 ml of semen ejaculated from male reproductive system during single ejaculation 3 to 5 ml of semen is ejaculated from male reproductive system and it contain millions of sperms about 300 to 400 millions of sperms actually for the process of fertilization for the process of fertilization only we know one sperm is sufficient then why such a huge number of sperms are ejaculated that we shall discuss later on while studying the concept of fertilization now what is the role of semen first of all you must know that semen it provides fluid medium it provides fluid medium for the transmission of sperms from male reproductive system to the female reproductive tract or we can say vagina of female arthat ya thikani mala asa sanglayche ki semen he fluid ahe ani ya fluid cha ya semen ya fluid cha madhyamatun sperms he male reproductive system madun female reproductive system madhe transmit hoyasathi madat hote means it acts as the medium for the transmission of sperms from male reproductive system to the female reproductive system second we can say the sperm it nourishes the sperm the semen i'm sorry the semen it nourishes the sperm because already we have seen the seminal fluid it contain fructose and that fructose provides nourishment nutrition to the sperm in addition to that the components of the seminal fluid and prostatic secretion they nourish they activate it means they increases the motility and viability of the sperm they activate the sperm so these are some another role that we have already studied in addition to that the semen it helps to neutralize the acidic nature of urethra of male as well as the acidic nature of vagina of female so these are some important functions or significance of semen so here briefly we have discussed about the semen now we have to discuss 
about histological structure of testes. Of course, here to study the histological structure, to study the internal structure of testes, we have to take the TS of testes. We have to consider the TS of testes. Now, by drawing here a suitable and colorful diagram, I am going to explain you the TS of testes. Look at the blackboard and pay attention towards the diagram. We have already studied that the testes is externally covered Ex by outer covering known as known as tunica albuginea. Listen carefully. Tunica albuginea. It is the external covering of testes. Tunica albuginea made up of fibrous connective tissue. But outside this tunica albuginea, you know, there is a presence of peritoneal covering and that peritoneal covering is known as the tunica vaginalis. Of course, it is also made up of fibrous connective tissue, tunica vaginalis. You must know, tunica vaginalis is incomplete. This tunica vaginalis is not present over the testes from all sides. It is incomplete. Tunica albuginea is complete layer, complete layer. And just inside the tunica albuginea, again there is a thin, there is a thin and vascular layer, thin and vascular layer. You know, this layer is also made up of fibrous connective tissue but it is vascular means it has a rich supply of blood capillaries it is also incomplete and this inner layer vascular layer is called tunica vasculosa tunica vasculosa means we can say that testes has three coverings outermost covering in the form of peritoneum called tunica vaginalis then below it tunica albuginea it is its own covering it is complete and innermost covering which is thin which is thin vascular known as tunica vasculosa now this tunica albuginea it sends many septa or many fibers into the testes so that the testes internally get divided into many compartments into many compartments. From the tunica albuginea, many septa, you must know septa, it is the plural form of septum, S-E-P-T-U-M, septum, septum yacha artha padda, septa yacha artha padde, asa apad manu shaktu, ki wa yaad hikani tunica albuginea pasun asankhya fibers, asankhya septa, he yaad hikani testes madhe sodle gelele astat ki ja mule internally the testes get divided testes get divided into many irregular and polygonal compartments many irregular and polygonal compartments ki ja mule atle bajune testes che asankhya lahan lahan kappe jhalele astat here I am going to show these small compartments, these small compartments, these small chambers are known as lobules. These are called as the lobules. There are presence of about 200 to 300 lobules in each testes. Now this each lobule encloses 1 to 4, 1 to 4 very thin convoluted elongated tubules tubules 
you know these tubules are called as seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules of course that seminiferous tubules are elongated and here in transverse section these tubules appear somewhat oval spherical or rounded in shape now the number of seminiferous tubule in each lobule are about 200 to 300 and that's why we can say a single testis contain about 1000 to 1200 seminiferous tubules in now to understand the seminiferous tubule let us take out one seminiferous tubule outside now look here imagine here is one seminiferous tubule each seminiferous tubule is internally lined by internally lined by cuboidal epithelial cells single layer of cuboidal epithelial cells this layer of cells this layer of cells is known as germinal epithelium germinal epithelium means these are germinal epithelial cells but this germinal epithelium is not continuous please look at the diagram it is not continuous the germinal epithelium is interrupted by certain tall somewhat conical large or pyramidal cells pyramidal cells pyramidal in the sense conical pyramid like pyramidal cells these large tall conical or pyramidal cells are called as sertoli cells these are called sertoli cells or these may be called as substentacular cells substentacular cells or may be called may be called as nurse cells nurse cells this is the lumen of seminiferous tubule, cavity enclosed by seminiferous tubule. Now, at sexual maturity, at sexual maturity, under the influence of certain hormones, at maturity, it means when that male individual attain the sexual maturity, under the influence of different hormones, which hormone? FSH, that we shall study later on in another chapter. But under the influence of certain hormones, the germinal epithelial cells, the germinal epithelial cells undergo the process of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis in the sense process of formation of spores. And here in the lumen, in the cavity of seminiferous tubule, the sperm formation take place. The spermatogenesis, it involves different developing stages of sperm. There are different developing stages of sperms, such as initial developing stage is called spermatogonium, singular, plural, spermatogonia. Spermatogonia, it develops into primary spermatocyte, then secondary spermatocyte, then spermatid and finally the sperms are formed. So, all these developing stages of sperm, ya sperm cha sarya cha wadi cha avastha hai, ya sarya avastha ya thikani apla la seminiferous tubule cha lumen madhe dista. Manja apad asamonu ya, ki ya germinal epithelium cha lages khali, we can see these cells, these are nothing but the spermatogonia, pahili developing stage, then we can say primary spermatocytes, then secondary spermatocytes, then spermatid and at the center of lumen of seminiferous tubule, Agni Madhyabhagi, we can see the bundles of sperms. Yati Kani, Asankhya sperms Madhyabhagi Tayar Zhililyastha. Aplyada Disushakta. Now, these sperms, these newly formed sperms get nourishment from the Sertoli cells. 
these are the sertoli cells okay or substentacular cells means actually the sperm adhere with the help of their head to the sertoli cells baka ya thikani mi vegla picture kadtoy kalpana kara ki ya thikani hi ek sertoli cell hai sertoli cell la sperm त्यांच्या वरच जे टोक असत त्याला म्हणत हेड त्याच्या मदतीने अशा प्रकारे चिकटत कशासाठी टू डिराईव्ह द न्यूट्रिशन टू गेट द न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम द सरटोली सेल मीन्स दी सरटोली सेल्स आर नरिशिंग इन नेचर दे प्रोव्हाइड नरिशमेंट टू द डेव्हलपिंग स्टोन्स एम ऍक्च्युली दे आर हेन्स दे आर कॉल्ड ऍज द नर्स सेल्स म्हणूनच त्यांना नर्स सेल म्हणतात दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द नर्सिंग नरिशमेंट nutrition of the spores now among the seminiferous tubule whatever space is present seminiferous tubule cha avti bhuti ji jaga ahe that is filled by means of connective tissue as usual and here in between seminiferous tubule seminiferous tubule cha avti bhuti aslela jage jo connective tissue hai त्या कनेक्टिव्ह टिश्यू मध्ये देर आर प्रेझेन्स ऑफ फ्यू ग्रुप्स ऑफ एंडोक्राईन सेल्स फ्यू ग्रुप्स ऑफ एंडोक्राईन सेल्स एंडोक्राईन सेल्स चे काही ग्रुप्स या ठिकाणी प्रेझेंट असतात या ठिकाणी मी काढतोय दीज सेल्स एंडोक्राईन सेल्स आर कॉल्ड ऍज लिडिक सेल्स or this may be called as interstitial cells interstitial cells interstitial cells mind well these are endocrine in nature in the sense these cells are responsible for the secretion of hormone male sex hormone that is androgen or testosterone testosterone it is male sex hormone this Our testosterone it control the development of secondary sexual character in male individual okay so here we have studied about the histological structure of testes so finally what is the function of testes first formation of male gametes that is spermatozoa and second secretion of male sex hormone that is testosterone so here we have completed the study of histological structure of testes thank you and take great care of yourself good luck